Look around yourself. Can't you see this wonder spread in front of you? The clouds floating by, the sky so clear and blue. Planets in their orbits, the moon and the sun, such perfect harmony. Let's start questioning ourselves: Isn't this proof enough for us, or are we so blind? إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين له ونستغفر له ونعود بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أحمالنا من يحته له فلا مبدل له ومن يدل فلا حدي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا مولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاتي ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قل من بالله ثم استقيم In the ayat of the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says All those who believe revere Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and die not except in the state of Al-Islam That is our purpose to make sure my dear brothers and sisters that when we leave this world whatever happens that we are in a state of al-islam this is why we must return to the basics of understanding what is al-islam what does the word muslim mean and we have to return to the guidance alif lam mim dhalik al-kitab la rayba fi hudal lil muttaqin the guidance is in the quran that was the revelation that was revealed to our beautiful messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam iqra bismi rabbik alladhi khalaq we have the quran which is the same quran which even the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had there is no change so what is the difference between the first three generations of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the companions and the students of the of the companions and us they were attached to the quran they were connected to the quran they had unplugged the dunya we my dear respected brothers and sisters are connected to the dunya and we've unplugged ourselves from the quran if we've unplugged ourselves from the quran this means we have disconnected ourselves from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that means the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well a'udhu billah we have to return my dear respected brothers and this is the whole purpose of heart c is through the courses through the lectures through the clips through the online seminars and etc is to try and do whatever we can to reconnect to those signs which are throughout the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding mankind to reflect stun uh, to reflect study ponder to search identify these signs this ayah but remember the signs are just signposts there is something beyond and beyond this is subhanala the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to be known in and seen in this world and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals lifts his veil to a certain extent and if we purify ourselves through the tazkiyah al nafs then inshallah ta'ala through the correct understanding the process of being in the company of the ulama qunum as-sadiqin then inshallah ta'ala we will be able to understand these signs we will be able to read the signs and engage with them and it would be a road map as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he has given the the stars he has given the mountains as navigation tools all we need to do is to join the dots up the tree the sun the moon they are the ayah they guide us to the object yes we study we reflect we ponder we must learn about these individual items but what is beyond that that's then where we go higher and higher through the islamic contemplation to connect to the names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
then that, that takes us up through Islam, Iman and towards Ihsan to the point then that we then see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world know that we cannot see him but know that he can see us but then we are at the point then then wherever we turn we see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala around us through his beautiful creation that is our purpose wa ma khalaqtul jinna wa insa ila liya'budu assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu the moon and the sun such perfect harmony let's start questioning ourselves isn't this proof enough for us